What is up my coconut bras? Welcome back and this is the first video we are going to be doing since we hit 50,000 subscribers. That is absolutely insane. Thank you guys all so much for that. And before we jump into it, I just got to say Presidential Plain was the map that was upvoted the most in our last Pro Lines of Sight video. And so be sure that you are voting down below to get your favorite map next for our next Pro Lines of Sight video and the map with the most upvotes will be chosen. All right, jumping right into it, we're gonna do this one a little bit different. I'm gonna go through defenders and then attackers, but also at the same time, you need to be to be aware that both spots will be working for attackers and defenders because you can shoot bullets through them. I'm just showing you guys what one is going to kind of lean towards the other for strategy. All right, so jumping up first, we're going to be doing defenders, and a lot of people like to run out on those spots to spawn kill, and a lot of people don't realize that all you have to do is you can just stand here and you don't have to be at risk at all whatsoever unless people start repelling up the edges, which you can do. And look at this, you can just stand here and you are going to be able to see the ladders now 90 percent of the time people are going to use the ladders to get up on top of here and what a lot of people don't realize too is that you can repel up if you're attacking so just be aware aware of that all right moving on we're going to go into our first kind of sneaky line of sight and this is it back in the press section b in the back of the plane and a lot of people don't know that if you just stand in this corner you can kind of watch the spawn door and you just look through this tiny little crack. I'm going to show you exactly what this looks like. You have very, very little time to react. And I've been in this spot so many times because it's right in the corner there where there's going to be drones that are just driving past you. Now, once you get up into the higher levels, a lot of people do know about this spot. But I do need to point it out because it's a really, really very good one. And I, I want you guys all to be aware of it. All right, then moving on next. A lot of people like to camp in the kitchen in those two corners. But I'm going to show you better lines of sight is going to be a similar spot to what we just showed you. And it has a similar little, little crack inside these little cabinets. And you are going to be able to peek through and use these as tiny little lines of sight. And it is very, very tight angle to be holding. And it's a really, really good lines of sight to hold in the kitchen. So be aware of that. All right, moving on. We're going to be in the executive bedroom. And this is a very common spot, but a lot of people don't realize that you can just vault up onto this couch, crouch and kind of lean left, and just barely your head is going to be looking over it. So as you see right there, it's so dark right there. It's very hard to tell. It even just kind of looks like just the side of the bed. So this is a very, very good spot. I'm going to mix it up, and I am going to be showing some actual gameplay kind of in between on certain spots that we are able to get. And I wasn't able to get every single spot. But every single chance that I get, I am using these in actual gameplay, and I'm going to incorporate them into our videos. All right, moving up, we're going to be in the security room. And this is kind of for attackers and defenders, but more so defenders because a lot of attackers like to clear out the top floor before moving on. And a lot of people will just use this spot to kind of drop down the ladder without checking it first. A lot of people will drone the top, make sure the top is cleared, and then drop down and continue the attack. But as you see right there, there's going to be a tiny little murder hole, and that's a very, very sneaky spot to be doing. And this is a pretty high percentage, and right here, I'm blowing out the bottom of the wall just to show you guys exactly what this looks like. Obviously, if you guys are using this in an actual game, you're not going to want to blow out that huge-ass hole. All right, moving on. We're going to be in the front hallway, and this one is very common when defending in the front of the plane of the top of the main entrance. But a lot of people don't realize that you can just plug a little murder hole right in right here and you can see down all the way to the door entrance that is down below. So that is a very another really sneaky spot. This next one is going to be defending the reinforced hatch when you are defending luggage hold. And this is a really good one. I know I'm playing a sledge right now, but this would be more leaning towards the defending team. And if you just come up to the third floor up here into server room A, you're going to be able to watch the hatch and see if a thermite or if anybody goes down there, even if maybe there's a fuse that goes down there. If you guys don't have time to reinforce that hatch, you are going to be able to watch the hatch very clearly. You're going to definitely need to be able to listen into your headset though and make sure and watch out for the flank. All right, now moving on, we're going to show you guys a couple really popular strategies with Mira that has been happening on every single map. And the strategy with the Mira is to basically reinforce walls 
and then you're gonna make a line with a mirror and then you're gonna shoot out one of them and you're basically gonna use one mirror for information and then you're gonna pre-fire it depending on who's there and then move over to the other mirror depending on if it's right or left whatever you choose so as you see right there got one black mirror and one open mirror so right here just using this mirror for information moving over strafing and just having that initial jump it's almost like pulsing like you can kind of tell where enemies are by using pulse and then you're just finding where they are and of course you want to be aggressive with pulse um, in the right moments and if you know where they are you want to go for them because you have the jump on them a lot of people will be expecting that though but if you are the one that is controlling the timing of when you are coming out to shoot you are going to have the edge on them so make sure you're accurate and you will win that battle nine times out of ten now the second strategy while defending tactical seating down here or technical seating I'm sorry while down here is putting a little murder hole in the bottom and then using kind of a big murder hole at the top as a distraction or you can just sit back on the side of the room so that you cannot get hit by a wall bang that's a very good spot and then moving on to the uh, executive office up here we are going to be showing you this spot all you have to do is just make sure you are crouching when you do it with this spot now you don't necessarily have to use two mirrors what I like to do a lot of times is use one mirror right here, use it for information, and then I'll put the second mirror on side the objective so that people can watch the hatch drop down. Alright, switching on over, we're going to be going over to attackers. I'm going to show you exactly what is going to happen if you do not crouch when placing the latest mirror placement because if you stay standing up, if the guy is playing as glass and he goes far enough back, he is going to be able to pick off a very easy headshot. So be sure you crouch when using that mirror strat. Moving on, we're going to show you how to wall bang this little couch right here. And this is really great when people are using that little murder hole above the staircase watching the entrance. A lot of people lie down and try to shoot through the drone hole. And a lot of people don't realize that you can shoot through this couch. So I'm just going to throw this fact out there for everybody to see that you can shoot through that couch and it's very easy. All right, moving on. I'm going to show you guys some very good murder holes that you can use for watching the hatch, or not watching the hatch, that you can use while attacking, and then also for fuse if you want to. Drop some nades down there, do whatever you want to. Um, just pick off some really easy headshots. So this that was the first one, and that one's really well known, but we're going to show you a few other spots that are really good to do. And this one is right above the security camera. All you have to do is line the little wall in the bookshelf, and then the third line into the wall. And then it's going to be right at the corner of the couch. And look at that. You can get on either side of the wall. And if you go a little bit more forward right here, this is going to be exactly over the security camera. So if you just move a little bit to the side, look at that. They have a mirror. You can take out the mirror. Or if they're camping down here in the corner, then that's going to be a very easy kill for you. I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like from the defending team. So right there, I just shot out the security camera. And that is going to be in this corner right here. As you see, the mirror is popped out and there is a hole placed above there. So if you need to take out the camera, that's a very easy way to do that also. And a lot of people don't realize that you can breach these. And it's really surprising to me, honestly, because this has been out forever and a lot of people do know about it. All right, so moving on to the next little hatch is going to be right in the right side of this door entrance way. And this is going to be for right here while defending this is going to be a good murder hole because a lot of people like to go inside of these corners so this is a very good one and if somebody's lying down right there you can just shoot them in the dick super easy kill and thank you guys all <laughs> but anyways moving on to the next spot inside the executive bedroom this is going to be a little bit further back next to the side of the couch and this is for when people are kind of camping out in the room behind luggage hold or kind of in between the two bomb points and this is a really good one so a lot of people will go down here and go behind the silver container you can take them out very easily from the defenders point of view this is what the murder holes are going to look like of course you do not want to stand at the top and just wait for a nitro cell because nitro cell will easily take you out right there so be very cautious and all at the same time look at this you can fuse all five of these points that i just pointed out right here so be very careful of fuse while you guys are defending and a lot of these spots were well known 
but these are very common spots at high level gameplay and I need to make this known for the Coconut Bra family and I hope you guys have learned something. If you guys knew about these spots already, I apologize, but there are a lot of people that are newer to the game and may not have as big of a vast knowledge as you and just trying to improve the community overall. Love you guys all. See you guys all very soon in the next video. We have so much stuff planned. Love you all. Peace.